Dirty Dozen. The most pesticide-laden fruits and vegetables you should avoid. Are you aware of the potentially harmful pesticides in your fruits and vegetables? It's no secret that pesticides are used to protect crops from pests and diseases, but they can also have negative implications for human health. In fact, some fruits and vegetables are more heavily contaminated than others, earning them a spot on the infamous Dirty Dozen list. This list highlights the 12 produce items that are most commonly found to contain high levels of pesticides. From strawberries to spinach, these fruits and vegetables should be avoided or purchased organic whenever possible. As a health-conscious consumer, it's important to be aware of the potential risks associated with pesticide exposure and take steps to protect yourself and your family. In this video, we'll dive into the Dirty Dozen list and explore why it's important to make informed decisions when it comes to the food we eat. What is the Dirty Dozen list? The Dirty Dozen list is an annual report released by the Environmental Working Group EWG, that identifies the 12 fruits and vegetables with the highest levels of pesticide residue. The list is based on data collected by the United States Department of Agriculture USDA, and the Food and Drug Administration FDA, through routine testing of produce samples. The EWG analyzes the data and assigns a score to each type of produce based on the number of different pesticides found and the amount of residue left on the produce after it's been washed. The higher the score, the more heavily contaminated the produce is considered to be. The health risks associated with pesticide exposure. Pesticides are chemicals that are designed to kill or repel pests and can include insecticides, herbicides, and fungicides. While they are intended to protect crops from pests and diseases, they can also have negative effects on human health. Exposure to pesticides has been linked to a range of health concerns, including cancer, neurological disorders, reproductive problems, and developmental issues in children. Some pesticides are also known to be endocrine disruptors, which means they can interfere with the body's hormonal system and lead to hormonal imbalances. The health risks associated with pesticide exposure are particularly concerning for pregnant women and young children, as their developing bodies are more vulnerable to the effects of toxins. In addition, certain individuals may be more susceptible to the harmful effects of pesticides due to factors such as genetics or pre-existing health conditions. The 12 Most Pesticide-Laden Fruits and Vegetables According to the 2022 Dirty Dozen list, the 12 most heavily contaminated fruits and vegetables are 1. Strawberries 2. Spinach 3. Kale, collard, and mustard greens 4. Nectarines 5. Apples 6. Grapes 7. Cherries 8. Peaches 9. Pears 10. Bell and hot peppers 11. Celery 12. Tomatoes These produce items are considered to be the most heavily contaminated due to the high levels of pesticides found on them. In some cases, the contamination is so severe that a single sample can contain residues of multiple pesticides. How to avoid pesticides in your produce While it may be difficult to completely eliminate pesticide exposure from your diet, there are steps you can take to reduce your risk. One of the most effective ways to avoid pesticides in your produce is to choose organic whenever possible. Organic produce is grown without the use of synthetic pesticides, herbicides, or fertilizers, which means it's less likely to be contaminated. However, organic produce can be more expensive, so it's not always feasible for everyone. If you can't afford to buy all organic produce, another option is to prioritize the produce items on the Dirty Dozen list and purchase those organic. These are the fruits and vegetables that are most heavily contaminated and pose the highest risk of exposure. By choosing organic for these items, you can significantly reduce your overall pesticide exposure. Another way to reduce your exposure to pesticides is to wash your produce thoroughly before eating it. While washing won't remove all of the pesticides, it can help to remove some of the residue. Use a produce brush to scrub fruits and vegetables with a firm skin, such as apples and potatoes, and rinse all produce under running water. Avoid using soap or bleach, as these can leave behind their own residues. The benefits of choosing organic produce in addition to reducing your exposure to pesticides choosing organic produce has other benefits as well organic farming practices are designed to promote soil health and biodiversity which can lead to healthier more nutrient dense crops organic produce is also often fresher and more flavorful as it's grown without the use of preservatives or artificial ripening agents in addition choosing organic can have positive impacts on the environment Organic farming practices prioritize sustainability and aim to minimize the use of non-renewable resources. 
Organic farms also tend to have a smaller carbon footprint than conventional farms, as they rely less on fossil fuels and produce less greenhouse gas emissions. Other ways to reduce your exposure to pesticides. In addition to choosing organic produce and washing your fruits and vegetables thoroughly, there are other steps you can take to reduce your exposure to pesticides. These include 1. Choosing produce that is in season and locally grown, as it's less likely to have been transported long distances and sprayed with preservatives. 2. Growing your own produce, either in a garden or in containers, using organic methods. 3. Eating a varied diet that includes a wide range of fruits and vegetables, as this can help to reduce your overall exposure to any one type of pesticide. 4. Choosing canned or frozen produce when fresh is not available, as these are often treated with fewer pesticides. The Clean 15, produce with the lowest levels of pesticides. While the Dirty Dozen list highlights the fruits and vegetables with the highest levels of pesticide residue, there is also a Clean 15 list that identifies produce items with the lowest levels of contamination. These are the fruits and vegetables that are considered to be the safest to consume, even if they aren't organic. According to the 2022 Clean 15 list, the produce items with the lowest levels of pesticides are 1. Avocados 2. Sweet corn 3. Pineapple 4. Onions 5. Papaya 6. Sweet peas, frozen 7. Eggplant 8. Asparagus 9. Broccoli 10. Cabbage 11. Kiwi 12. Cauliflower 13. Mushrooms 14. Honeydew melon 15. Cantaloupe How to wash and prepare your produce to remove pesticides While washing your produce can help to reduce your exposure to pesticides, it's important to do it properly to maximize its effectiveness. Here are some tips for washing and preparing your produce to remove pesticides. 1. Rinse all produce under running water, and use a produce brush to scrub fruits and vegetables with a firm skin, such as apples and potatoes. 2. Soak leafy greens in a bowl of water for a few minutes to help loosen any dirt or debris. 3. Peel fruits and vegetables whenever possible, as some pesticides may be concentrated in the skin. 4. Cut off the ends of root vegetables, such as carrots and radishes, as this is where most of the pesticide residue tends to accumulate. 5. Avoid soaking produce in water for extended periods of time, as this can cause it to lose nutrients. The role of government regulations in pesticide use. While the use of pesticides is regulated by government agencies such as the USDA and FDA, some experts argue that the regulations are not strict enough to protect human health. In some cases, pesticides that have been linked to health concerns are still allowed to be used, and the testing methods used to determine pesticide safety may not be comprehensive enough. There is also concern that the regulations may not be enforced consistently, and that some farmers and producers may be using higher levels of pesticides than allowed. As a result, it's important for consumers to take their own steps to protect themselves from pesticide exposure, such as choosing organic produce and washing their fruits and vegetables carefully. Conclusion making informed decisions for your health and the environment. While the presence of pesticides in our food is concerning, there are steps we can take to reduce our exposure and protect our health. By choosing organic produce whenever possible, washing our fruits and vegetables thoroughly, and being aware of the dirty dozen and clean 15 lists, we can make informed decisions about the food we eat. In addition, supporting sustainable and environmentally friendly farming practices can have positive impacts on both our health and the planet. By taking these steps, we can help to ensure that we're consuming the healthiest, safest produce possible. Thanks for watching.